Well, Troy Rose Bowl. What does it mean to you guys? I mean, this is what you kind of – this is your goal in, in, in August when you get here. What's it mean to you actually go in this game? Man, it's a, it's a big accomplishment, and it's, it's a blessing, honestly. It's big for us, and everybody knew what it was taking. It was one of the goals. It's just a stepping stone on one of our goals, and, I mean, it's big. Can't, can't be enough thankful for this opportunity. You know, this defense is clearly playing. You know, it's best football. It's getting better each week. What's been the key to this success? Um, just everybody really understanding what they're doing and to a man doing their job. And I'm talking coaches and players, too, all believing in the system and believing what we can do. So I feel like that's really the key of why we're playing at to the to the level we're playing at. Do you feel like the team just getting confident, more confident as the Yeah. A lot of the younger players who didn't really get that much playing time coming in the year, they got a lot more experience. So they, they see the game a lot faster, and that's kind of helping out, too. And everybody just started to see the game. So it, it's, it's big for us. How special is it to be part of this matchup between the past two Heisman winners? You guys even talked about that. I know Tony said you guys haven't. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to that. I'm just trying to do what I got to do and do what I can to help my team. And that's that's our main focus. Can't get too much into the hype. That's all about the media. We got to come out and execute our, our game plan. That being said, how do you execute against Kevin James? When you make plays with his arm? Man, it's going to be hard, but we just got to stay focused and at least – at least try to slow him down. It's going to be hard for you to stop him. So the the main thing is to at least try to slow him down, slow him and the receivers down. Is he like any quarterback you faced this season in the Big 12? Nah, because, uh, I mean, he, he he's great. Like, he won the Heisman for a reason. So, obviously, he's a little different than a lot of quarterbacks. I mean, we played a lot of great quarterbacks in the Pac-12. But, I mean, he got a little different game. He got the ability to scramble. And you see he haven't lost the game. So, that's separating right there. How dangerous is that team just because – They've inked out so many close games, and they probably should have lost a couple games along the road, but, but they find a way to win. How do you prepare for that? Man, you just got to know. You're going to come into a dog fight, and if you get up, you can't let go. So, I mean, really, they they going to fight the whole game, and you can't never expect them to be out of it because you've seen on film and everything that they they always in the game. They always somehow find a way to fight back. So our thing is we got to just come out early and try to focus early and do what we can do so Maybe in the fourth quarter, you never know. It, it don't be like that. They don't have a chance. But, I mean, you just can't count them out, though. How different is, is the communication from the from really around that Washington State game to now? That was one of the big things that the defensive backs were talking about as something they really needed to fix. How different is it from then to now? I mean, it's not really that different. It's just we all start believing and we all picked up and we all had to, we seen like Washington State has a great passing offense. There's nothing like that in the country. So, I mean, it kind of humbled all of us and it kind of woke us all up to know that we got to come out harder. We got to play a lot harder. We got to be leaders and we got to do do all the little things right and everything matter and everything else will play out. And I feel like after that game, it, after it woke us up and now, now we're playing up to par right now. Was there one moment this season the defense really kind of you know flipped the switch and, and you, can, you can kind of tell when that was when you guys kind of turned it around? Honestly, I mean I felt it throughout the season that we could be great because I mean when we come and watch film and we look at the t the points we was giving up it was a lot of mental mistakes and like busted assignments and things like that and once we start cleaning up and the more we progressed in the season and those mental mistakes cleaned up then. I feel like that's when we started playing playing great defense or good defense at least in the Colorado game. That's where I really felt like, okay, we can be something special. And then the Oregon State game, and then it just kept going after that.